Friends, today is Monday, April 27th, in the year of our Lord 2020, and I am your deacon, Jeff Clare. In today's gospel, taken from John chapter 6, verse 22 through 29, we begin what is called the Bread of Life Discourse. What we Catholics believe is Jesus' teaching on the Eucharist as his body, blood, soul, and divinity, fully present, not just a symbol, but the real thing. The setting for the gospel is the day after Jesus has fed the 5,000 with the loaves and the fishes. He and his disciples have moved on to Capernaum. And the people follow them there the next day, likely hoping to be fed again. But Jesus calls them out. He challenges them not to work for only today's bread, but for the bread that lasts for eternal life. They ask him honestly, what can we do to find this bread? And he tells them only one thing, believe in me. Now it's only natural to worry about our belly before our belief, and that is why the church does so much for the poor. But it all depends on our level of personal belief. We must believe before we can have faith, and then we put our faith into action through our religion. And it's through the practice of our religion that the Eucharist is made available to us. This communion between our God and our Savior, Jesus Christ, and us, the ones who believe. Today, we are being denied the Eucharist due to the COVID-19 situation. So I say let's use this reality to examine the depth of our belief and our faith. Do we find ourselves longing for the Eucharist and the Mass? Has our appreciation for the sacraments grown or diminished? Indeed, have we noticed any difference at all by the absence? So your homework today is to read John chapter 6 and let it speak directly to you. An honest examination of where you are today can show you just what level of belief you have in Jesus. If it's not as great as it could be, I encourage you to use this time when absence can make the heart grow fonder to pray, Yes, Lord, I believe, so that when you do receive our Lord next in the Eucharist, your communion with Him will be even deeper and your faith renewed.